Shall we start the study of the history of the trust? The essence of the system of the trust is one of the legal systems and legal relationships among three parties, which is used when using the other party as an agent, a trustee, or a company. In accordance with the purposes of the trust, the system of the trust is a way to keep balance the interests among the individual, others and third parties through the fiduciary duty. Professor Schiller of Yale University, who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Economics, said that the system of the trust is the most outstanding financial system ever created by mankind. There is a long history in the system of the trust. There are many old legal systems in the trust, such as the Code of Hammurabi, Roman law, Germanic law, Islamic law, and English law. I will introduce these laws one by one. First is the Hammurabi Code. Please see the black pillar on the right, which is just over 2 meters height and the original is on display at the Louvre Museum. The Hammurabi Code was issued by King Hammurabi, the ruler of Babylonia. He has codified the system making the trade more active and more efficient. This code regulated the responsibility of the merchant who is the person concerned where he entrusts the management of his assets to the other and where he deposits his goods to the other for trade with a third party. Second is Roman law. Roman law is the law of commerce. Roman trust law was created as a response to the law of the property and the inheritance, and codifies that the trustee holds the property in favor of the third party. By using trusts, Roman testators were able to leave their property to the beneficiaries who would not normally inherit the assets, such as criminals and foreigners. Third is German law. German law is said as the law of agriculture in contrast to Roman law. German law was codified in the Salica law, the Salman system, and the probate system. Salmon meant a trusted person and also meant a trustworthy transfer of the property that involves the various functions. This was used as a way to avoid the legal duty that when the deceased died without heirs his estate would be fell into the king's hand. Next is Islamic law. Sharia is a broad law that takes the Quran and the words and deeds of the Prophet Muhammad also known as Mahmud, as its source of law. The Islamic state is a unity of the religion and the state, which means that religious norms shall become the law of the state. The concept of trust and waqf was recognized for land and buildings. A waqf is a contract in which the donor suspends or freezes his right to dispose of the property he donates, entrusts it to an administrator he appoints, and gives the proceeds to charitable purposes. The use granted by the equity law under the law of England is said as the pioneer of trust. Use was formed from two main factors. One is religion, the compromise among the Franciscan doctrine of honorable poverty, the rich, and the salvation of souls. The other is the land system. Under the feudal system, it was a way to maintain and secure the property left behind in the hometowns by the knights sent on crusades to overseas. I will talk in some more details about religion, honorable poverty and purgatory. Christianity that is the religion at that time was that the monks were supposed to be pure and honorably poor so all they were allowed to own was just a Bible and poor black clothes. However, in reality, they needed a place to spread a Christianity faith and also survive. On the other hand, because the rich were so sinful that they were required to give away their wealth to move from purgatory to heaven. 
So, as a compromise, the wealthy gave ownership of the lands and buildings to someone trustworthy, who would provide the church with use of the property. Next is the land system and the Crusades. The Christians have crossed the sea many times to retake the holy city of Jerusalem. As a premise of this, it was considered that all lands in England should belong to the King of England because of the Norman Conquest. The land was given to the nobles and their retainers, and the nobles who received the land had to manage it properly. If they did not manage the land properly, they were considered to have abandoned it and lost their ownership. In addition, only legitimate male children were allowed to inherit the land. So if a person died while on the sea voyage and had no legitimate male children, the land must be returned to the King of England. Therefore, in order to avoid this, he entrusted the management of the land to a trustworthy person when he went to war. In 1535, the Statute of Uses was enacted. The reason behind this was that the use was straining the state's financial status, as Henry VIII had to suffer from losing the land so much that can raise taxes on. Also, because this system was so convenient, the abuse of use as an illegal means has become rampant. Therefore, King Henry VIII issued a decree to ban the use with the approval of Parliament. As a result, use was banned, but methods other than the targeted use were allowed. As for what was allowed, there is a dispute between the two academic literatures such as double use was immediately allowed and only positive use was allowed. Either way, what was allowed has led to the current English trust law. This English trust law was widely spreader to USA and India, which were colonies at that time. Because Japan does not follow the Anglo-American law, the trust law has been succeeded by Japan later. The trusts in USA has been deployed from the management of personal assets to the management of business assets. In the beginning, family trusts were the basis of trusts, which were for the management of the assets for retirement life, the succession of the property to spouses and descendants, and simply the management of the property. Later, trusts were expanded to the business area, and the system of the trusts as management techniques has been deployed in the form of the securitization scheme for companies, finance, and real estate. There is an example of the deployment of the trust law in USA. A typical example is the use of trusts in place of the corporate system. The corporate law is a state law, and each state has its own laws, but there are restrictions on the term of the life, the amount of the capital, and so on. Business trusts were used as means to substitute for such restrictions and as a way to establish a company by the different law. This example is famous Standard Oil. Next is the transfer of trust law to Japan. As Japan did not follow the Anglo-American law, so trust law was not naturally accepted. In 1905, collateralized bonds were issued, and the trust law was introduced as a method to manage them. In 1922, the Trust Business Act and the Trust Act were used as a means to regulate the abuse of custody companies. In 2000, financial deregulation and liberalization has taken place. So, in 2004, the Trust Business Act was revised. I think it can be called the new law. In 2007, those acts were also revised, and various forms of the trust were introduced. Thank you for listening.